Hey dolls, welcome back. So today's video is going to be on these bad boys right here. I just kind of wanted to make this video to give you guys a little bit of information, some tips and tricks and show you guys how I fill in my brows. Now, if you don't fill in your brows, there's nothing wrong with that. If you don't want to fill in your brows, you feel like you don't need to fill in your brows, then that's great. Um, but for those of us that do need to fill in our brows, I don't know if you can tell, um, my makeup just doesn't look complete. I've finished everything besides my brows, but I mean, at least to me, it doesn't look like it is complete and doesn't look as polished as it could. Um, and that's because the brows, they frame the face. So if you don't have your brows, then you have a full face of makeup like I do today it's gonna look a little off especially if your brows grow like mine i don't know if you can tell from this far away but i'll zoom you guys in in a second to see but my brows are really really sparse my brows have come a long way we all have that one brow that is just like awesome and it's the shape you want and for me that's this brow um this one grows a little sparse and it doesn't grow in some areas so i kind of compensate with how I fill them in so I know I'm kind of just blabbering so let me zoom you guys in and then we will get started and I'll tell you guys a little bit more okay so now that we are zoomed in so you can kind of see what I mean by this eye this brow is a lot more shaped it, it has the shape that I want now it does still kind of grow sparse like in the front here it doesn't grow as good as I want it to this brow, on the other hand, just gives me a whole bunch of problems. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but under here, I have a really hard time getting it to grow the way I want it to. It grows, but it grows all crazy. Up here, the same thing. So that's where, when I fill them in, I kind of focus on those areas that need a little bit more attention. So let's, I'm going to start off with this brow because I can get it done real fast because I don't really have to do very much. Now the products that I'm going to be using are my Brow Wiz from Anastasia and my MAC uh, Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Gel in the color Quite Brunette. So first I always start off by brushing my brows. I brush them up because when you brush them up and you get all those hairs from the bottom going upward, you can really see the shape and really see where that product needs to go. So the reason I love the brow is, is because it is so tiny. It's a micro pencil, so really, really small. It doesn't need sharpening, so it always gives you that precise line and puts the product exactly where you need. So I start, I never start in the front of my brow. I always start like, about right here I don't start all the way at the arch but because this is where I need the product the most so as you can see I'm doing very very light strokes and you can already see how the bottom is filling out very nicely so once I feel like the bottom is good then I start looking that product up so in the front I use kind of a light hand but towards the tail of the brow I do use a little bit more of a heavy hand because that's we want a little bit more definition at the tail of the brow And then I do go to the front, and this is where I use the most, or um, like the least amount of pressure. So I very, very lightly underline where I want my brow to be, and then I start lightly flicking up. You can see how that really gives just that nice soft 
Now if you feel like it's getting a little crazy, this is where your spool comes in. Just go in and disperse that product evenly. And they just keep doing hair-like strokes until I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with how it looks. And then I do extend the tail just a little bit. Because my tail doesn't grow super long. I do want it a little bit longer. I'll just give it a little So that is that brow complete. You can see the difference. Like if I cover this eye, this side looks a lot more polished and a lot more structured than this side does. So now to finish it off, I just take my brow set. You can use a clear brow set. This is just the one that I have. So I'm just gonna lightly brush up. brush that part in my brows. This ensures that my brows will not go anywhere. This is basically just insurance that my brows, my hairs aren't gonna like go all over the place and they will stay nice and shaped. So now we are gonna tackle the tougher brow. So this might take a few more minutes than the other one did, but like I said, I brush up and you can already see right here is where it's sparse under my brow. So I kind of go off of that. And just start under my brow. I always, always start under my brow. I never start in the front or on top because I want those places to be the most natural looking. So I always start under my brow. And not only that, but it kind of lays down your shape for you so you can see where the rest of the product needs to go. So now I don't, you, I don't know if you can tell, but this area right up here is a little sparse too. So I'm going to go in and lightly give that area a little bit of color. And then start extending my tail a little bit. Now these areas are sparse because um, over plucking. Now, I know it sounds crazy, but I used to go crazy plucking my brows, especially this one, which is why it's real sparse in the front. I have hair that grows there, but not as much because I always would push my brow back until I started learning about makeup and I started learning where the brow should start, where it should arch, and then where it should end. After I learned all that, I started leaving my brows alone, trying to let them grow up. Even now, I still have a really, really hard time not messing with my brows as far as, as far as like tweezing and doing all that. I do get them threaded every once in a while, but that's just when I feel like I've let them go way too far. But I feel like I can keep them under control if I fill them in really good and I get that shape that I want on both of them. Then I just go in with some tweezers and I just pluck any stray hairs that aren't in the shape that I want. So that kind of makes it easy. If I could go back and give my younger self advice on my brows, I would tell myself, do not touch your brows. Don't touch your brows. Get them shaped once. I, and that's like 
the first time you should get them shaped, you should really make sure you research who you go to, make sure they're good, and they know what they're doing because when you initially get your bra shaped, you know, it, it's kind of hard to go back from that. So that's my advice is I would really make sure, especially for the younger viewers, I would try not to touch your brows. Um, you know, now if you get a couple straight hairs, then maybe go in and get them threaded or get them shaped. But personally yourself, I would try not to touch them because it just makes your life a lot harder. So now, like I said, in this front area, we go really light handed. And then I always use my spoolie and brush through them. So as you can see, filling your brows in takes a little bit of patience. Sometimes I'm here for like 30 minutes just doing my brows. And sometimes I can get them done really, really easy. I'm having like a good brow day. But it just takes practice and it takes patience and actually getting to know your brows and what shape works the best for your brows so now again on this side I'm going to go in with my brow set I love this brow set because The brush is super small. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of, I think the Gimme Brow from Benefit is a little bit smaller, but it's kind of in that same range. And it's waterproof, so I know, even if I wanted to just give my brows a little bit of color with no brow is, and I wanted them to stay in place, I can use this. Like if I'm going to the beach, or if I'm gonna be somewhere like where it's humid or whatever, and I want my brows to stay. Okay, so that's how I fill in my brows, and as you can see, it does make a difference in the overall appearance of your makeup. They frame your face, they kind of, they finish off the look, they really give the look a polished finish. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know I talked a lot in this video, but I hope you guys learned something, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Now. If you guys want to see how I would fill in my brows with powder instead of the pencil, like if you're more comfortable with powder and you want to learn how to use powder, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comments and I will go ahead and do that for you. So let me zoom you guys out so you can get a look of the final, so you can get a glance of the final look. So this is the final look. This is with my brows done and everything. So. I do hope you guys enjoyed. I like making these kind of videos for you. I hope you guys learned something from them. And yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now because I'm talking too much. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and click subscribe if you want to continue on my journey here on YouTube with me. Um, I know I'm still starting out and you know my channel is still getting off the ground but I do appreciate all of you guys' support and I do appreciate you guys who watch my videos continuously and religiously and I think that's all I have to say so thank you guys for joining me again and I will see you guys next time. Bye dolls.